What's up guys? I just finished recording a video for you going over how to manually search a storefront. I get a ton of questions about this. Uh, so I decided to go live sourcing. So I basically go through how I would do it. I show you how to check variations. That's at the very end. Uh, we go through uh, using Selleramp, how to do that to find products quickly. And we basically go through what I would be doing in the morning. Uh, you get to see all the software and the tools I'm using, how I kind of think about profit. I got a shadow on my face. Um, but yeah, please watch the video. If you are new to the channel, my name is John Muscarello. I am Side Hustle Experiment on Instagram. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. I do online arbitrage and I also do books. And let's just get into it. We'll start sourcing. If you could subscribe to the channel, like the video as always, I greatly appreciate it. And there will also be a free 14 day trial link for you uh, for Selleramp right below this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful. What's up guys? It is John from Side Hustle Experiments. So uh, we're gonna be doing some live sourcing. Uh, so we're just gonna get started. We're mainly gonna be using uh, Selleramp, which I will show you in a second. We're gonna be reverse. Fuck. So let's get into the searching for products. This is a sheet that I use to track products I find. Just FYI, I'm going to be looking up because I'm looking at a second screen. It's just easier for me. Um, so I always put the date that I purchased it, the source, uh, so I know its store, the order number. So when I order something, I'll drop the order number in there. Uh, the product, so this is going to be the Amazon title, the ASIN, uh, the source URL, so the store I'm buying it from, the Amazon URL, the quantity, uh, the price per unit that I'm paying, the total spent. So usually I would put, if I bought like 10 of something, I'd put that in there. If I paid $5, I put that there. And then I have like a calculation that fills in this box automatically. Uh, if I bought a bundle of something, um, so if it cost me $2 per item, I would put my unit price as four and however many I got, it's just easier for me. Uh, the target price, I uh, like to know when I buy something, what I think it will sell for, uh, just so I know, and I'll enter that usually into inventory labs when listing. Um, Cause there could be from when I buy it, a swing up or down, but it's always good to know what I thought it would sell for at the time. The potential profit, worst case uh, price. So this is what I think, like if the price went down from the target, what the worst case might be and how I found the item. I found this super helpful um for um you know how am i finding am i using tactical arbitrage uh did i do manual sourcing which we're about to do or all different kind of leads lists or whatever so we're just going to hop over to amazon uh so i already typed in equate which is a walmart only brand so basically walmart makes this you really can't get it from a wholesaler um, maybe some people are able to get special deals or whatever, but I learned this from fields of profit. You basically type in a Walmart brand because, um, that means people who are selling this are most likely selling other items, uh, from Walmart or other arbitrage sites. Uh, and they're most likely not wholesale definitely not a private label. So it's a good way to get started. So what I usually do, the tools we're using, we're going to be using seller amp, which you'll see in a second. We have Amazon DS quick viewer, which is this, this shows you, um, quickly, uh, if Amazon sells the product or not, I don't like to get on listings that Amazon is on, uh, how many FBA sellers are on the listing, uh, the current rank, uh, and it's just super helpful to go through because you could go through quickly. Obviously, if we pulled up another page and it was maybe like Nike or something, or that's a bad example, maybe a food item, 
uh, or deodorant, Amazon might be the seller most of the time and there'll be no other sellers. Uh, so we wouldn't really look into that. So that is a great tool. It is also free. It's a Google Chrome plugin. Uh, we're going to be using Selleramp and Keepa. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of going through, um, looking for, see that's a pro sponsored product. Kind of, you could really click on either of these. Some will be sponsored and not equates. Sometimes, even though bundling is kind of a pain, I like to look at bundles because those people obviously figured something out. Uh, let's see, let's see what looks good here. I also sometimes like to scroll down because I feel like most people are going to pick something at the top. Uh, four pack. Let's go with this. All right, so I'm going to pop open another window here. All righty. Okay, so this. I doubt this will be profitable. Max cost is 20. Uh, who knows? All right. So this is Seller Amp. Uh, this is a great tool. This is uh, another plugin. So this is basically pulling in a ton of information. It's pulling in the rank, how many estimated sales uh, this product might get in a given month. Uh, the max you could pay for it. So right now my ROI, I want to make 30% and at least $3. So they're saying, if you want to do that, you can't not pay more than 2076 for it. Um, this would be the potential profit I'm gonna make, which you'll see. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. The new sellers, keep a drops, estimated time to sell. This is in beta. Uh, it gives you a ton of alerts, whether you can sell it or not, whether it's hazmat. So this is a great uh, tool to look over. Uh, it will break down all your fees. So you can see that you could enter like your prep center for taxes if you want. And then you could like see all the sellers. We're going to be using this. Um, so yeah, let's see. It looks like I looked at this um, December 30th. So a while ago. Um, this is today. Uh, oh, is that 32.85 and it's in December? So that's kind of cool. It tracks the history as well. So let's just see. So we got that. Um, I doubt this is profitable, but you could just hit this and it will do a Google search for you. It looks like the Walmart sells a two pack for 26.98, which is going to be no good. Um, let's get rid of this twin pack. 90 tablets. Um, let's see this. Oh, it's a two count. That's not what we want. That's 45. I think this might be at 90. So yeah, this is the 90 count. They want $17 for it. Um, so yeah, this is not gonna work. But what we're really trying to do is to see what these other sellers are selling. Uh, so there you can see this. I like to pick ones. Obviously there's not that many FBA sellers. So I don't know if this storefront will work, but um, I like to pick ones that have probably in like, the 30 to maybe 200 range. Sometimes when they have more than 200 ratings, they're like wholesale, they're doing a lot of volume. I mean, 281 would be good. This person would probably be good. So we're just gonna open this in a new window. So seller amp pulls in all the ASINs they're selling, sorts them by category, sorts them by brand. Uh, this just makes it super easy to kind of go through everything. Um, you can see they have 74 um, ASINs. Sorry to this person for kind of exposing your store. 
Um, and in most cases, it's listed to their most popular selling product to their least popular selling product. So let's see if we could find something here. All right, so tie. So looking here, this is the Keepa chart. You could tell orange means Amazon sells it. You have here the rank, the max cost you could pay. And I'm pretty sure this is based on their price, not the actual buy box. This is whether Amazon's on it, how many FBA people are on it, how many people are selling merch fulfilled. And then you have the buy box, what the buy box currently is. So sometimes these do not match up. Um, in most cases, this is rare. Most cases, this is much higher than the buy box, their price. Uh, let's see. What is this? This looks somewhat interesting. It's a two pack. Let's see. So we get kind of pull up more information here. Looks like it sells a decent amount. They're estimating 971 sales. Uh, you can see here in the last 30 days, the average buy box was 29.75 so pretty much aligns with that you i like to look at the 90 day i feel that's more accurate so this is saying 30 65 so it's a little down but i mean not at all the prices do swing uh down here we could see uh who has it how much stock there is um so i mean it looks if they really sells like 900 there's you know a decent amount of stock there, but definitely enough for us to come on. Only 11. Um, so let's take a look on Amazon and see what is going on. All right. So. All right. So the Keepa actually looks halfway decent. Um, let's see. So it's been pretty consistent. I mean, it's dropping down a little, but it's at 29. You know, it's been consistently at 30, 31. Um, no really craziness going on. Um, so let's see if we could find this. So basically we need to find two of these for 1685. I'm just going to do a quick Google search like this. I'm going to get rid of two pack. Google search. All right. Do the shopping tab. Grace might have it for $5.99. Never heard of that. Um, Let's see. I'm not really seeing it at any form of packs has it. Looks like okay, so Target has it for eighteen ninety-nine. This is probably not gonna be good. Let me just see. Yeah, that's the same one. So this one's not gonna work. All right. Let's load some more. Uh, 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 got, let's see, create replacement humidifier filters. Two pack, this might be hard to get for two. Oh, it looks like I have looked at this before. Oh, maybe this is profitable. Um, okay. This is, when do I look at this? February 23rd. Well, a couple days ago. Um, all right. So let's see here if this would be profitable. I mean, according to my math, it was. Maybe they're out of stock or something. Um, okay. Let's pull up the listing. Take a look. All right. So this keep a chart. It looks a little crazy, but it looks like it's pretty much 
even keeled. Um, it looks like it had like a big spike. This is basically around the holidays. Um, not really sure if people are gifting these or not, but that's besides the point. Let's see here now. So let's go see the 90 day. So this average buy box is 1549. It's at $15 right now. Uh, okay. Um, 30 day is about the same. All right. So a bunch of sellers like we talked about. So I like to look at the, the offers. So I'll show you this tab on Keepa. This could be promising if Walmart actually does have it for the price I typed in earlier or before. I don't know why it's not loading. There might just be a lot of offers to load. In the meantime, we'll take a look on Google and see if we can find it. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so yeah, it's out of stock. Um, so it'll be, I mean, it looked like it went up in price. Definitely did. So this would be six dollars. Off of that, um, you'd be making two seventeen on this. You would have to poly bag it. I mean, it is thirty six percent ROI. I I might would test buy this because. If they sell really fast, if you could sell, uh, what did they say it was? Hold on. It's 11 sellers FBA on this. So you could probably, if you were the 12th seller, um, let's take out my phone real quick. We got 1179 divided by 12. Saying 98. So, I mean, if you could sell 98 of these a month, um, let's just call it 100, you'd make 200 bucks a month on this product and it'd be a quick mover. Um, so, I might test this. Uh, that is definitely interesting if you could find it in stock. Um, yeah, so this did load. So, I want to get rid of that. So, this will show you exactly uh, how many of the item sold at a certain price. So you can see 1499, 99 have sold approximately. Um, at $15, 110 has sold. 15, yeah, yeah, 15. Okay. So yeah, they're definitely getting $15. Some at 1550, there's been 41 sales. 15, 68, 37. 1599, there's been 102. So it has gone higher at times, but the price you're probably looking at is definitely $15. You can also see the buy box statistics. I like to do this to make sure, um, you know, it looks like this person gets the buy box about 51% of the time. So they must be like the bigger seller in this. That isn't great per se because they're kind of hog the buy box, but you also have to look at, um, they are sharing it to some extent. I mean, there's only 11 people on it. And if they have all the supply or a lot of supply, let's see, there's probably them. Let's see, no. Green wind shop. Interesting. Oh, there they are. They have five plus. I don't know. It's interesting. I probably, even though they are hiding, hogging the buy box, there's a lot of volume on this listing. 
I would probably definitely test it. Um, make two dollars seventeen cents. I like to be at three dollars, but if there's going to be a lot of volume moved, I mean two dollars times a hundred, like we said before, it's two hundred bucks a month. Um, not the greatest product, but definitely something I would probably test and see. I'd probably buy, I don't know, at least 10 to 20 to test it. Um, you know, to buy 20 of them will cost you 120 bucks, which you definitely would probably make your money back on that. So that's really not, a, that's a pretty good product to at least test. Let's see if we can find something else. I'm guessing when I put this price in, um, that's what Walmart was at. They, I have seen them increasing pricing on some things that I've bought. Um, so let's see. So definitely has some potential. Protec extended. These are more humidifier filters. These sell a lot. Okay. Let's see. My face is in the way. So there's no buy box on this, which is somewhat interesting. Last 90 days, the buy box was 1822. Looks like Amazon was on this listing in the last 90 days and they were priced at 1798. So it seems like they have it for 1999, 17. Oh yeah, someone's at 1768 right now. So that would be the price. That's very interesting that there's only two sellers let's see what's going on <laughs> keep a chart looks pretty solid uh not a ton of sellers which is kind of good uh because yeah, it's a lot to, of volume to share. I don't know if we're going to get these, though. Find two packs of these for under $9. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. It looks like Target has one for seven twenty nine, which is not going to work. Let's see shopping. Uh, Walmart has another filter. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like Newegg, Mercari. Yeah, I don't think we're getting two of these for nine dollars. Um, Again, I don't know, maybe they're buying them wholesale or I don't know, maybe they had a deal on Amazon or Amazon on Walmart and they scooped them up. Um, so we're going to pass on that one. Uh, what do we got going on here? Pepto, Herbal Blends, Amazon's on that. Let's see. No Amazon. Good rank. I don't know if we're getting two for two fifty two dollars each. Very doubtful. I'm actually just gonna Google it quick just to see. Yeah, we're gonna get it for three sixty seven. It looks like or three forty two. Let's just click real quick to see. Yeah, so that's gonna put us at let's say seven dollars. Um, So yeah, it's really not worth looking at the listing. Actually, maybe we'll just pull it up to see why people are buying this or have bought this in the past. Oh, this is a merch of a filled price of $12. Let's see what FBA is up to. Uh, it's actually going for $13.26, $13.26. People are probably making money on this somehow. I'm not really sure. Again, it could have been like a sale. Keep it charged somewhat steady. 13. 
I mean, I don't know how at seven dollars. Maybe the oh, 1.8 ounce. I think this is this one. Oops. Actually, actually, hold on, hold on. Oh no, it is 1.8 ounce. Um so yeah, I don't really know what's going on with this, but let's see. Actually, let's put in the real numbers. 342, let's see, 3.42 times two, looking at 684. Six dot eight four. Um, so if they, if you get this, let's see, this is definitely not good for us, but it looks like the FBA price is thirteen twenty six, so they might just be making a dollar on this. So they're making like probably seventy nine cents on this. Some people are cool with ten percent, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if you could sell a lot, I mean, maybe. Yeah, it seems like that's kind of a range. If that one point is at fourteen twenty six, at fourteen twenty four. Yeah, if you add another dollar on that, yeah, you're at one sixty four twenty percent margin. So maybe that's kind of was their uh, idea, but this is definitely not uh, for me. Let me get out of these windows. You will definitely be opening a ton of windows, which can slow down your searching. So yeah, if I wasn't doing uh, the video, I usually just will pull this off and then delete all the other windows. All right, let's load some more. See if we can find one more thing. If not that first one, uh, I would definitely do a test buy on that. Um, twelve dollars. I do not see you getting this for two dollars. Yeah, definitely not. Not sure what's going on there. I mean, 11 people are on this. So, like, I don't think 11 people are purposely. Oh, yeah. It looks like it had, like, a big uh, fall. But even so. Let's see. I'm just curious now. Oh, wow. Well, at one point, it was at 16. 180, 16, all. I feel like the highest it ever was was 19. I mean, at $19, yeah, that would be profitable, but. Let's see what else we got here. We got a nasal spray. Oh, we got a three pack here. That's going to be rough or tough. Let's kind of get a quick idea of what we might be looking at. So like nine dollars. There's no way. Uh, oh, maybe. Maybe let's check it out. Sometimes I like I won't go directly to Amazon because I feel like I'm not going to get the price. I like kind of analyze the keep a chart. So this actually looks somewhat solid. Let's see, let's see. Pharma packs is selling it. The only issue with this product might be they're gonna be hogging the buy box. 155 sales, not a ton, but it's steady. I have felt though, um, the best way to really judge whether something will sell or not um, is just to buy it and see. There are some listings I am on currently um, where it says I'm going to be selling, I don't know, it says like 20, but I'll sell myself 20 a month. So not really, it's just an estimate. Um, all right. So in 90 days, if 
Five bucks have been 20. Keep drops, cool. Uh, no issues. Five seller, I mean, not bad. So again, if you'd be number six, uh, one, what would that be, 30? Let's see, 150 divided by six. Be about 25. And I would not get caught up on the math. Well, yeah, eventually, but like when you're kind of going through quickly, like don't try to divide in your head like 66 divided by 155. Just be like 150. Like just kind of do quick math in your head. Um, and then you when you fill out this, you could do the, the real math. Um, kind of like this. I'm like, oh, like we could get this for $3 ish if this is the right one. So nine dollars. Let's see. Doesn't look like they're in stock for delivery. I don't even know where that is. Um, two nine two. Let's see if this is even the correct one. This does look like the right one. Hazelness, 1.69. I would just pull this out and compare it next to each other, but it's going to mess up the video. This does not look. Oh, this is definitely different. Interesting. They definitely maybe updated the packaging. That could be one of the reasons. Interesting. Sometimes I will do Google Lens search. So this is going to basically search Google for this exact image. And sometimes this is a good way to find stuff you're having trouble with. Oh, here we go. It looks like Bed Bath & Beyond has it for seven. Here's a Walmart listing. It looks like they have a two pack. Let's see what this is. $6.99. So yeah, that's definitely not gonna be profitable. All right, we're gonna look at one more and then been doing this for about 30 minutes. And I want to say like, this is kind of typical. This is the first search I'm doing in the morning uh, for today. I probably will do like one or two hours uh, just kind of doing this. And it's basically because I'm new. Eventually I will get like a virtual assistant to do it. But I mean, it is, th we're 31 minutes in. I mean, it's also, I'm going slower uh, because I'm trying to explain stuff and help you guys out. Um, so yeah, eventually like you could just really scroll through this. Uh, some of these products, I'm like, oh, I already saw this. Like I already looked at this. I don't really need to look at it again. Um, okay, nighttime. Let's see what this is. So this is a four pack, 126. All right. 30s, looks pretty somewhat consistent. Let's go. Amazon. Oh, so this is a variation. So this is, we'll end on this one regardless. Uh, looks like a pretty solid Keepa chart here. Uh, so for variations, you want to use the variation tab on Keepa. So then you just sort by ratings and this will show you, uh, so 46% of the sales, uh, it sell a one pack. This is interesting. Still 40% of the sales go to the four pack, which is interesting. And the two pack, 15% of people are buying. Again, this is just an estimate. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here pack of four. We don't want that. You'd also just Google yourself. 
which one is this? This is a, definitely a different one. With like medicine and stuff, you definitely, definitely want to like triple check the box to make sure um, everything is correct. Looks like I might have looked at this in uh, January. Uh, it says three dollars. Um, so this could work because you'd be. This is a good one to end on. It is out of stock, but if you were able to, is that correct? Hold on, hold on. Mm. Hunter count sleep aid tablets. Yeah, three dollars and four cents. It's four cents. So you'd be looking at. Wow, this would be a good one. About sixteen. Wow, that would definitely be a good product to buy, in my opinion. Again, you have to do your own research. Uh, wow, that is a good one. So that I'm gonna wrap it up there. Obviously, if you could get that in stock. Um, you could definitely make money on it. I would say over here, I do have an out of stock tab. So that would be a good example of something I would put there. And then I would just kind of check it uh, periodically to see if they're in stock. Um, but yeah, guys, that is kind of um, how I do some manual searching. Again, like I was saying, I was like, we were doing it for 30, I think I said at the 31 minute mark. I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that great. We're not finding anything. And then, you know, here we go. Like this would just definitely be a really, really good one um, if you could get it in stock. And who knows, maybe it's in stock in your area. Just make sure everything matches up. Um, but yeah, we're going to call it here. Hope you uh, found this helpful and useful. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If you want a free 14-day trial of SellerAmp, uh, there's a link in the bio below this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.